Hello everyone. In these days, a lot of our assignments need to be submitted online digitally. So although this is hand graphics class, if you haven't used a scanner to scan a drawing or Photoshop before, today this video is made to help you to learn how to use a scanner very quickly and later on how to use Photoshop to properly clean up your assignments before your submission. So our students are able to access three scanner locations and they are Egg Hall Computer Lab 343. This is the scanner. Say you finished a hand drawing assignment like this. So you come here and open up the lid of the scanner. And then you're going to find a triangle at the top left corner of the scanner. So you want to put your drawing facing down like this to line up with this triangle and then close the lid. All right, next sit down at the computer right next to the scanner and open up this software. It's called Epson Scan. And there are a lot of defaults such as office mode, color, 300 dpi as the resolution. You can keep them all. The only thing you need to do is do preview. And this preview window will show you how much image you are scanning. So this looks pretty good. And the final step is to click on scan. For this scan, you are going to see the system will give you automatic naming system, which you can keep. And then I specify to save it to the desktop. And then you can choose to save as a PDF or JPEG. Usually I like PDF because a lot of times you need to submit PDF as the final format to the D2L online system. So now you click on OK, it's going to start to scan. You can hear the scanner working. So now you need to do save file so that you can finally get that digital file. Now it appears on my screen, this PDF file. I'm opening it up, looks pretty good. So now you get a digital file. All right, now you got a digital file. So you can try to open it up on the computer, see how it looks. So this is how it looks for my file on the computer by Adobe Ac Acrobat. You can discover that there are some gray background, some mistakes that I need to cor correct, and then there are s something that I need to do to rotate the drawings. And this part of work has to be done in Photoshop. So now I'm going to close it up and then open it up in Photoshop. So, so find a computer. Th that computer has a Photoshop like this icon, PS. That's a Photoshop. And then this is the file you just scanned. You right click on the file and then do open with and find a Photoshop in the list. If, if it's not, click on the choose default program. The Photoshop has to be there. So now I'm going to just open up with Photoshop. Okay, it's in Photoshop now. The first thing you need to clean up for this drawing is to rotate this drawing to be perfect 90 degrees. Right now it's tilted. So the first thing you need to do is to pull out some reference lines and the reference lines are hidden in the rulers. So if you don't see the rulers, follow this with me, please. So you do view and click on rulers. So now you see these bars, that's the rulers on the top and the left. So that's great. And then you pull out reference guidelines from these ru rulers. So hover your cursor here on the ruler right here. Don't click yet. And now click and then drag. You, you see a great line you can drag out. And then just pull it to close the border of your drawing like this and then release the cursor. Now you see a light blue 
reference line, which won't print. It only shows up on the screen. So now you can see it rotates quite a bit from 90 degrees. The next thing you need to do is go to the menu here, image and image rotation. Then click on arbitrary. So here I know that I need to counterclockwise counter rotate my drawing to certain degrees. I'm going to just give it a guess here. So I'm going to click on counterclockwise and then I'm going to try 2.5 degrees. Enter 2.5 and see how it goes. So now they, the drawing is looks pretty good to me. So if it's not perfect the first time, you might need to rotate one more time with a smaller degrees until your drawing is at a perfect 90 degree location. So now if you don't need the uh, guideline, you could hover the, um, the guideline use your, using your cursor and then press control key on your keyboard. So the cursor will appear like this. And at this point, you can drag this guideline back to into the ruler. It'll disappear. OK, so now it's at a perfect 90 degree position for your drawing. So now the next thing you need to do is get rid of the gray background. So if you click on Image, Adjustments, and then Levels, and you are going to see these three triangles. So you're going to work with this right triangle on the right here first. So push this triangle to the left hand side. While I'm doing that, watch the drawing. See the gray background is disappearing. So now it's almost disappearing. So if I push a little more, the gray background is gone. So that's how you get rid of that gray background. And you might also discover that these black lines might, got, might have gotten a little more gray instead of pure black. So what you need to do is to push this triangle, this black triangle here, to the right-hand side. So if I do very extreme like this, you can see how black all the lines could get. But I don't need the drawing lines to be so black. So I'm going to push it maybe to here. And now you click on OK. And then your gray background is not there. And then all your lines are still pretty black. And next thing you need to do is to erase. See, I've got these three ring holes there I need to get got rid of. And also, there are some mistakes over here that I need to erase. So the tool you need to use is eraser. So if you hover your cursor to the left, and all the tools are here. So this is the eraser tool. Click on this, and you are going to see another eraser on the top left corner of the screen. Click on this little triangle here. And then you can play with these two tools. One is eraser chiseled. The other is pencil eraser. So either one would, would be fine. It's just the pencil eraser. You can adjust the size of the um, eraser erasers. So now my eraser size is too small for these big holes. So I'm going to adjust 25 to a much bigger one. I'm going to adjust to 80, say. Oh, this is much better. So I'm going to start to erase right here. So erase that, erase that, erase all these, erase all these. So now these big holes are gone. And I have three mistakes here that I need to erase. What do you do? So now you need to actually zoom in into the drawings so that you can erase more carefully. And for zoom tool, it is this one. So this little tool is zoom. So click on this. And then your cursor here becomes a uh, little plus sign. So if you click once, it's going to zoom 
is going to become bigger, bigger, and bigger. So to a point, you feel comfortable on the screen. Now click on the eraser tool again, right here. So now you can click, you can erase that. Just hold on to it and move your cursor around a little bit. And then you erase that one. And then this one, same thing. Okay. For this one, you need to be a little more careful because it's right connected with one of your line work. So maybe you want to zoom in again like this and then click on the eraser so that you can erase it more carefully. Now it's a too big. I'm going to adjust it down to maybe 48. So like this. So hold on to hold down your cursor and then keep moving a little bit and then you see you're getting rid of that little tail of this drawing. Okay, so now you go back to um, click anywhere outside the screen. And if you click on the zoom tool again, at the same time, hold on to Alt key on your keyboard. It's going to become zoom out button. So keep click, click clicking. So now you see the entire drawing. So now there's one more thing that you need to get rid of, which is this black line, which is the edge of the paper. So you, I'm going to introduce another tool for you to erase unnecessary objects from your drawing, which is the marquee tool. So the marquee tool is a selection tool. So click on this one. And then you click here at one time and hold on to that click. Don't release. It's going to give you a dashed line border, which is the marquee until this box include the entire black line here and then release cursor. Right now you could press delete button on your keyboard. And now this pop up window is asking you to fill this marquee area using either background color or foreground color. So I'm going to use background color. And what it means is that see this black is foreground color. This black uh, white is background color. So when you delete, it's going to use here it says background color to fill this marquee box. So you click on OK and then it fills with white color. So you don't see that line anymore, meaning the same thing as delete. Now you click on anywhere on the white space of the drawing, the marquee box will be deselected. So this drawing has become pretty clean by now. All right, so now one more thing that you need to check for this drawing is the image size or canvas size. So what you need to do is click on image and then canvas size. See, it shows this drawing is 9.6 by 12.9 inches, which is bigger than the regular letter size paper. The letter size paper should be 8.5 by 11. So what do you need to do is enter the correct size here, 8.5 by 11, and then click on OK. So the computer will prompt you that the new proposed size might be smaller than the current size. It's okay. That's what we want. We want to crop something out. So do proceed. Now check again, image canvas size. Now it's a perfect 11 by eight and a half size. So the size is okay. Cancel out. So one last thing that you need to do if you want to make it a very professional, see the strong is not very much centered, not bottom, top, not left, right. So the next thing you need to do is do select all. So you see the big marquee box all the way around this canvas. And then click on this tool. This is the move tool. Once you click on it, move your cursor back here anywhere on the drawing. And then use the four arrows on your keyboard to move this drawing around until you see it visually um, centered on the white canvas. So I'm moving down slowly. And then now I'm going to move it to the left slowly, just like this. Once you feel it's very much centered, and then you can do select deselect so the marquee is gone. And now this drawing looks pretty perfect.
gray background is gone, mistakes are corrected, and it's all centered. It's perfect 90 degrees vertical, horizontal. And now you can save this drawing and be ready to submit online. I'm gonna just do file, save as, and say cleaned up. and click on save pdf because it's a pdf and then say yes and i'm going to go to the desktop now i've got another pdf file on the desktop it says clean up so if i double click on it my new pdf is perfectly clean and at the right location you can do a quick comparison this is the old one right here and this is the cleaned up one right here all right so that's how you scan your hand drawings and then clean it up in photoshop thank you